Okay, we survived episode one. So here comes Behind the Red Door, episode two. Okay, so overall we survived day one. I could tell it was a little rusty. Missed a few things. Missed the smudge on my shirt, which was powdered sugar from the French toast breakfast. I forgot to include Lena in the show notes uh, after talking about her, which I will correct today and give her. And overall, a little rusty. Missed a few things, but overall pretty happy. Wasn't too self-conscious with it uh, until I got to the editing and watching myself quite a bit. So overall, we survived. Moving on to day two. I did notice that things were a little serious, uh, which probably pretty good for the first episode. But today I'll speak a little louder. I'll pick up the pace and we'll try and have some more fun. Today is Sunday, March 29th, and we are technically in the seventh day of our lockdown. And it's really a shutdown order or a stay at home order, but I just use the word lockdown. It's easier. Uh, and we are on episode number two. So what I think I'll do is keep these first couple short and sweet. And I'll try and uh, pop out to a day or so and see if we can catch up to uh, the lockdown day being the same as the episode number and get things all synced up. So here we go. So what's up for Sunday? Well, got up and Sunday is usually my day to cook. And so I got dinner started and it is cooking away. We are having braised short rib ravioli tonight. I've discovered that uh, I like to cook when I have the time. I like to cook anyway, but I like to cook when I have the time. I like to do something special uh, because I've discovered I like to cook because I like to eat. So the, the short ribs are brazing away now. And after that, I've got a meeting with my business partners to discuss some upcoming conference calls for next week. And that'll take a while. And then come home and work with Jacob, uh, the neighbor boy, who has gotten into woodworking during this downturn. He's very entrepreneurial. He's actually quite talented. And uh, he needs to utilize some of my woodworking tools in the garage to make some of his cuts and uh, get ready for some of his next projects. Good kid, very talented, so it's fun to watch him. All right, so we're going to close episode two with something I call the Charmin shout-out. This came about due to my brother-in-law's birthday recently and his birthday was about two weeks ago in the midst of all this craziness and we sent him a card and I included a single sheet of papers toilet paper saying for emergency use only so the Charmin shout out today goes to Bryce my brother-in-law for the inspiration for this segment and accepting the award for Bryce is me and I'm going to keep this I'm going to keep them all as we go and Perhaps at the end we'll do something else. Uh, we're also going to, because this is episode two, we're also going to award a second Charmin shout out. And this goes to Eileen and the Geek Magnets, which is not a chick band from the 80s like Susie and the Banshees or the Go Go's or Edie Brickell and the New Bohemians. It is my wife and her college friends. The Geek Magnets was their Powder Puff football name, their flag football team name. And I suppose that makes me a geek. But um, inspiration for this was Eileen and her college friend, the Geek Magnets, had a Zoom video call, virtual happy hour the other night, and uh, they had a blast. It's a group of eight or nine wonderful ladies. They got together and had a had wine and appetizers virtually, and uh, they're spread across the country. Many of them haven't seen each other for years, so it was really cool to watch them have fun uh, and connect. And I imagine it's the first of many. So, shout out to Eileen and the Geek Magnets. All right, that's it for episode two. Got a lot of things to do today, so I'm going to be on my way. Stay safe, stay well, wash your hands, and don't lick any toilet seats. <laughs>